in today's episode, we start learning some things about mobs. I don't know where I'm going with this. I hope you guys enjoy the video. So in today's episode, we're going to switch gears a bit, and I'm going to switch to a mod that I've never actually played with uh, called Deep Mob Learning. It's a super cool mod. I've seen it used in servers. Other friends of mine have used it, but it's time that I want to use it. So basically, oh, also one thing I'm going to mention real quick. My world super corrupted after stream the other day. And so I've got zero advancements. So whenever I'm picking up random shit, that's why I'm getting the advancements all over again is because it's all fucked. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's why that is the way it is. So we need, um, what do we need at deep learning? I know we're going to need the way I'm going to do it anyway, because I think it's the most fun is a trial keystone. I make a key. That's simple enough. I don't need that on me, actually. Probably. We can make one of those. Let's see. Let's. There we go. Didn't go my inventory for any reason? No? Alright. So I've also changed one of the rooms. Just just a little wee bit. Go away. I've changed this room down here. This is going to be our trial room, to be honest. Now this needs a 15 by 15 area, I believe. Which is what this room is set up to be. I believe that's what it is. If memory serves me correctly. That's what we need. But we need a key. We need to set those keys with these data models I'll show you. So these here. So we need a blank data model, which might as well just make a million repeaters. There we go. We're gonna want a zombie one to begin with first. We need to make these blank deep slate. Oh, this is a quest. I thought it wasn't. All right, sweet. That saves me a lot. I thought I was going to have to try and go through this completely blind. So these are the categories from Hades, Overworld, Slimy, Rotten Guys, Spooky Scary Skeletons, and then Mobs. And there's more uh, from Emertus, Illager Mobs, and Poseidon's Children. Cool. So we can take that. Is that another? Oh, that's an advancement, not a uh, quest. Cool. So we need a data model. We need to build items to get a data model. Let's say we want to do the zombie one first so we can get iron from it. So let's see. I forgot you could actually just craft these. So we'll do this. Sweet. Then I, I think as long as we hit mobs, data models uh, are chips where you will store information of mobs you learn. Makes sense. Chimichangas, hell yeah. Hell. Oh my god, those are kind of excellent. The next thing we need to do is our deep learner. What am I missing? Am I missing... Hold on. So, can I make a deep learner? Oh, so I actually don't have this. Oh god, don't break. So, we'll need a block of coal, I believe. I think this is how you do it. If we get take a block of coal and some redstone. I believe if we place this down and just... Okay. You just break it, and there's a chance of getting it, I guess. Oh no, I don't know. You just left click the shit out of it. Cool, so we can automate this probably. Not that we're gonna need that much of it, but I guess we could set up an automation for it. So we need the deep learner. So grab one of those. Now this, right click with it and you'll be branded with the GUI. Pick your data model uh, and put in one of the slots. You'll be able to preview the left. Excellent. A single deep learner supports four data models, which is excellent. You can navigate through them by arrow buttons. Cool. 
Data Planner also shows the current model's data amount and tier. You can also view just by putting a mouse above the data model. Excellent. Uh, your hop bar and start killing mobs. Just keep the killing mobs. Yeah, cool. Basically, so what this does, the more mobs you kill, the higher tier these go up to, and the better loot you get. So, oh, they changed the cost for this. Holy shit. <laughs> Got it. All right. So we're gonna have to do with power first. <laughs> ah, go back. There we go. So any, basically any form of zombie, we can we can kill, and uh, go towards this, which is quite nice. So I need to make a trial key, and I'm gonna have to make that. Uh, we'll pick up that other thing anyway. Let's. The trial key in our inventory. Excellent. Let's run back down here. Pick this up. There we go. There we go. Oh. Typical 30 day trial. I like it. So let's read the quests, shall we? Trial keys I will be using to get the attention of the system glitch and challenging it into a fight. They have a trial key, you should bound it to a category and tier you want. Just put in an unbound trial key in the crafting table next to a data model. So if we do something like this, I believe. Yeah, there we go. So I'll be bound to the rotten guys. So I'll have to go make another one, which is not a big deal. Those are quite cheap to make, actually. Dude, I think he's actually up there. Yeah, he's gotta be over there somewhere. Oh, let's sleep as well. Basically, the reason I'm doing this is one, a bunch of free items. Sort of. <laughs> you, need, you need the power to make the items. As well, just more mob stuff, which I think is super fun. So let's see, zombie model. I'm just going to make one of these again. Awesome. So, ooh, advanced pump. Pay attention to the tier and category of the data model behind the key. Certain categories are harder than others, and higher tiered trials can be very difficult. You notice that your trial also become uh, yes. So this can add a bunch of random stuff. Like it can spawn explosive mobs, I believe, or there's like regen pools. Whenever you kill a mob, a pool of infant health will spawn, but you and the enemies can use it. So. I'm gonna watch out for. The trial keys used in the crafting has no effect, so it's suggested for you to use an unbound one to avoid losing your press. Did it make sense? This one glitch is pretty strong mob. Uh, cool, okay. Getting this agenda book. Protection three, not bad. So I'm actually a little worried about this because I've never actually done this before. And I have a feeling that this is going to hurt a lot. Um, Let's see. Data models. Can we? Is there a creeper one? I don't know if any of these give you gunpowder. And of course, it doesn't say. Yeah, okay. Actually, I guess what we could do is look up the loot fabricator. This will probably tell us. Yeah, so prisonering, slimy. This is what gets an overworld pristine. Okay. Uh, so loop fabricator and. Isn't it mob something? No. All right. At deep mob learning. Simulation chamber. That's what we needed. But this is just. Help us get the other stuff. Cool. Let's go try this. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Actually, what I should do. How much armor on? Uh, armor. What am I missing? I'm missing boots. Okay, so we'll take those. I need a helmet as well. Uh, I got two diamond helmets. I can, I can wait for one. There we go. All right, so this has got the thunderstorm and mob strength. Oh God. Tier faulty, okay. So, keep this in our hotbar. We'll keep this here. 
Again, I have no idea how any of this is going to work, so... Take a potion of strength, a potion of speed... I guess just a bunch of instant health ones is fine. Like, we can... We can do that, I guess. I, I don't know how tough this is going to be, so I kind of want to be prepared for it, but... Well, let's, uh... I think we're good. I think if we do this, this, take our key out. Green's not proper to start a trial. Why? Can we not put it in a box? Hold on. Wait, does that have, have daylight maybe? Let's go try it out here first. Uh, which way can I even go to do this? Let's go, I guess, over here. If I need to, I can dip. No, I need a big area, apparently. I thought it was you needed a 15 by 15, like, area. You know what we have over here? A giant area I was gonna build my base. I'm assuming this should be more than fine, though. Why, why is the terrain not... Okay, well, it's happening. Oh, these guys... I'm pretty sure do an absolute... Trial failed? Why? The key's gone. Did I get knocked out of an area? Why? <laughs> why did it fail? Who knows? Uh, if you know why it failed, let me know, because I am genuinely bamboozled by that. <laughs> I have no idea, to be honest. I've, like I said, I've never used the mod. Uh, I, I thought that was just going to be fine the way that was, but apparently not. So, we'll, we'll, you guys are very good at telling me uh, a lot of information, so, you know, I, I'm sure you guys will... Well, tell me why. The other thing is we gotta build in this. So I also wanna just clear out this, although I can't make... Yeah, we gotta beat him. Okay, so just gotta do a bunch of trials, basically. Okay, that's not bad. You, however, let's go down this route and get these mostly taken care of. Uh, so any one of these bad boys. Okay. Excellent. Loot fabricator. Okay, so we can't go in this just yet because we're gonna need pristine matter. Which means I believe we need the simulation chamber. Oops. Uh let's see, redstone. Birch. Let's just sure. Comparators. Grab some of those at the mob learn. Oh, no, okay. There we go. So, stimulation chamber. So, that's just dark conduit. What the fuck is this? I'm guessing I probably shouldn't do this, but hold on. Can I put it on top of this, please? No. Some dark enchanting. I've got no idea what it does. I'm sure, again, you guys will probably tell me what it's used for. So, oops. There we go. So this, provide a simulation chamber with uh, energy and a place for some polymer clay. Yeah. Now you'll have to put your machine data models into a simulation machine. Sh shift click the... Shift left click the data model in your inventory to move it to the simulation chamber. Once the chamber is data model. Cool. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Do I saw the zombie one in here. I do. Cool. So let's go put this. If we can put this down here, actually. So let's see. Let's put it maybe here. 
for now. Now, from what I remember, you can only input from the top, and you have to output from the bottom, I believe? Something along those lines? Let's go find out. One thing we'll also have to make is polymer clay, which isn't too bad, if I remember. Polymer clay. Uh, how much clay do I actually have? Can I make four stacks? Cool. We'll grab a crude storage unit. And then... Do I have another configurable chest? Oh, I do. I think this should work. So let's go... Oh, you know what? We're also going to need cable. Do I have... That should be enough. Alright, let's go build this at least. I relatively know how this works. Famous last words, of course. So behind it, we'll run... So this is going to... This stores 2 million power. This is going to be working over time. Alright, actually, I guess I can just put these up front. Like, this doesn't need to be... Be super pretty. Also, even though this is in construction mode, or can you place items out of this? Can you place items out of this? I don't know. I have no idea. All right, so I'll put these here, and then those can go there. What we'll do is we'll have this here. We'll fill this with polymer clay. We will lock it. Configure out auto output. Bottom. Oops. Oh, there we go. So this should get put down here, right? Excellent. Then we put this here, and I believe. Ooh, I don't know if this will actually auto input items. I don't think it will. Okay. I mean, that's simple enough what we can do, actually. We can cheese this uh, because this mod's cables are actually pretty cool. Let me go grab an item cable. So you can just put blocks over top of cables in this, which is super nice. Uh, let's see. Item cable. Thank you. Oh, let's grab a servo as well, just, just in case. Luckily, they're stupid cheap to make. You know, let's... Even though we only have... There we go. Yeah, see? I'm just getting all of the advancements again because I... Yeah, the world is corrupted. And I couldn't get it back. Well, I, obviously, I got the world back, but... It was, a, it was a process for sure. So, you. Here. We can do this this no filter or anything we can just place blocks like that so i think if we put a or i think it has to be at least i think this has to be at least a regular tier so give me a sec i'll cut here i'm gonna go kill a bunch of zombies and then i will cut back when we can run this thing so I'm back, and now I'm pissed. Uh, I recorded a segment of the video, and turns out I wasn't actually recording it. So we made the loot fabricator. I'm just looking for some lava to make some obsidian. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm lost for words. I, I hate when that shit happens, man. It's so annoying. And, like, I can't blame anybody. It's 100% on me. But, like... If it could not happen, that'd be super fucking cool. But yeah, we made the... Oh god, let me... I thought there was some lava on this side. There we go. We made the data model. I killed a bunch of zombies to get that going. So at least we have that. There we go. Is this also a source block? No, okay. 
I'm just out of obsidian, which sucks because I don't want to mine it. Luckily, like, our pickaxe is pretty good, so it doesn't make it terrible. But it's still no fun. We really don't have any more. Hold on. Do we not have any more lava sources over here? Really? For some reason, I thought we did. Hmm. Let me go sleep, and then we'll figure this out. So, I, I can't get over that I did that. Recorded a whole, like, 10-minute thing. <laughs> Didn't actually record it. If that doesn't sum up this channel, I don't know what does. Ay, ay, ay. Let's let's just double check that I only needed two. I think I had one in here. Crunch. Okay. Uh, let's see. Use this can come up with way too many uses, right? Actually, no. It's not a terrible amount. Am I just blind as shit? There we go. Oh, I have just enough. Okay. We're making the loot fabricate. Cool. Grab this. Do that. Quest time. Plate of... Cool. Whatever. Uh, what do I need for this? Need netherite scrap. Okay, so can't do that just yet. So let's see. Let's run down here then. We can put this... What I'll do... We'll take the... That bad boy. Put it there. This also, from what I remember, takes an absolute shit ton of power. So I'm not super keen on using it just yet. I don't have a lot of power generation. Also, I can't remember if I asked or not. Um, it'll be up to you guys. But how do you guys feel about me adding, uh, adding mods to the mod pack? Like, I can't remember if they make it for fabric or not, but the flux mod adds those power things. Uh, like the flux points and shit. Because as much as I love this mod pack, I really need something for wireless power. It's 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 killing me. But uh, so we get this. We put the pristine matter in here. Oh, we don't get to choose the what it makes now. How's our power situation? I should probably keep this out so I can at least keep an eye on it. Nah, it's fine there. Sure what I can do. Let's just do that. This way, I can, I, I can at least see it. That got us rotten flesh. So does this tell us what we can get in the loot fabricator? No. Okay. Okay. Does it say in the quest book, grab a bit of pristine matter and start filling your matter condenser with the... Wrong. Loot fabricator is a machine... Uh, you'll use to turn pristine matter into something useful. You can put those inside loot fabricator and just wait until it turns to mob loot. Cool. Each pristine matter is equivalent of killing 16 mobs of its category. In other words, the loot that you'll be given... Okay, cool. Hence the rotten flesh. So if we do this, we should get quite a bit more. Yeah, this isn't tanking the power, at least. I don't think this is tanking either. I think this is just enough to keep it running. Okay, cool. And then, yeah, this overworld uh, matter is super nice. We can make a bunch of stuff with it, like gunpowder, iron. So iron's never going to be an issue now. Uh, a bunch of plants and stuff. Arrows, bones, which is super nice. I use that a lot for getting all the warped wood. Um, hellish matter gets us soul sand, which, if I set up a sieving system, can get us quartz and all that. We can get nether wart, gold. So that's never an issue now. Not really, anyway. Uh, gas tears, which is super nice. All the blaze items. And then with this, we can get... <sighs> Nether stars, ender pearls, and so on, all that kind of, kind of jazz. So this stuff's super nice to have in huge amounts. Which, as you can see, just from running this bit here, uh, our power is not keeping up with this, which is, which is fair. Can we turn this on and off with the lever? Ah. I wonder. So if I do this, I turn it off. No. Okay. So we'll have to just take all the polymer clay out, I guess. That's fine. 
So it'll run that last simulation and then uh, that'll be it. I can file this back. Cool. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, you know, leave a like. I know I don't ask for them, but you guys have been doing an absolute killer job on the support, the info, all that kind of stuff. So a huge thank you to you guys too. But uh, you guys take care, and I will catch you in the next episode. Later.